We start with the latest on the double homicide of a New Hampshire couple. The Clayburg County Sheriff's Office now working to identify two persons of interest in connection with those murders. A press conference was held this morning to provide more details about the ongoing investigation. Chris 6 News reporter Ashley Portillo is in the studio now with the very latest. Ashley. Well, Katia, during this morning's press conference, investigators released a picture of a man and woman in connection to the death of 48-year-old James Butler and 46-year-old Michelle Butler. That photo seen here was taken as the two persons of interest were crossing the U.S.-Mexico border in the butler's truck towing their trailer. We just want to find out who these people are and um, talk with them about the facts of the case. Investigators are now asking for the public's help in identifying these two individuals, a male and female, their ages unknown, but they may have information about what happened to the butlers who have been described by their family members as friendly, outgoing, and inseparable. They just were the perfect yin and yang with each other. They, they weren't separate people when they were together. They were just one unit. Investigators say the couple was last seen alive on October 15th and reported missing on October 23rd after family and friends lost contact with them. Our gut feeling was that we knew something was wrong. We just couldn't figure it out. As the family waited for answers, investigators discovered the couple's body last Monday. They were positively identified on Friday, so the next step, tracking down these two persons of interest, which the Claiborne County District Attorney says they're confident in doing. The more interaction we have with the public, the more uh, the more the public can come forward with leads. It's just a matter of time. Meanwhile, the family is still left grieving. If it's a friend or if it's someone they met along the way who they helped out, it's really going to hurt, I think, twice as much. And they're planning to cremate their loved ones in Texas before having a celebration of life back at home in New Hampshire. It's just going to be a big gaping hole in all of our hearts for a long, forever. And the male in the photo that investigators want to talk to does have distinct features like piercings and tattoos. For another look at the persons of interest, just visit this story on our website, ChrisTV.com. Yeah, Katia. You can take a better look at those pictures there. Like you mentioned, Ashley, thank you. If you have any information about the persons of interest or just the case itself, you're asked to call the Claiborne County Sheriff's Office or Crime Stoppers.